frightful occasion this spook around my ears to an old alumnus such as myself. I've oh, never had a dreadful time. Oh, me either. I haven't had this much fun since I was a guest speaker at the retirement dinner for Casper's ghost. Have, have you had time to visit any of our old haunts? Oh, I, I stopped by the old hangout mummy's ice cream shop. Do they still have ice cream like mummy used to make? Oh, everything is just the same. Same old screams, bodies rotting on the juice bar. Same old bad burgers and greasy french fried beetles topped with fresh plucked owl feathers. Even that sweat hog Frankenstein was sitting in his favorite booth eating a boohooberry sundae. We had a terrible conversation about the bad old days. You know that Frankie is really a horrible person. He's not just an ugly face. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Turn Satan's beard into white stubble. <laughs> uh, we certainly haven't lost our touch since we've been away. It's like learning to ride a broom. You never forget it. Well, I, I hope King Charming won't be too unhappy about what we've done to his son. <laughs> Professor Rattlechain sure taught us some terrific spells. He was the most intelligent ghost I've ever seen. Curse his soul. Remember this one? Tail of a tiger, toe of a bee, thumb of a sparrow and one frog's knee. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. It isn't one frog's knee, it's two toad's teeth. Details are important, Clara. That's why you always got poor grades in spelling. It isn't even toad's teeth anymore. The Plague and Curse Administration disclosed this high sodium count in toad's teeth. They suggested substituting horses' hooves instead. You can't possibly use horses' hooves. Why not? I can't think of anything that rhymes with horses' hooves. Oh, well, what about decaying roofs? Or powder poofs? Powder poofs? I really dig these reunions. How long have you been coming to them? Ever since I had a run-in with old Mother Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard? What did she ever do to you? She never did nothing to me directly, but she insulted a whole family. Remember how she'd always run to the cupboard to give her poor dog a bone? Well, that was me great Aunt Bertha she was giving away to a dog. Oi, sounds like a grave situation to me. What did you do? Oh, I fixed her. Late one night, I crept into a cupboard and got my aunt. Just as we were about to leave, I heard the old lady Hubbard coming down the stairs. Not knowing where to stash me Aunt Bertha, I sticks her in a little room off the hallway. And my friend, that is how my aunt won a place in the Haunted Hall of Fame. Your great Aunt Bertha got to the Haunted Hall of Fame by sitting in a little room off old Mother Hubbard's hallway? Yep. She was the first skeleton in the closet. Hey, you know who I haven't seen at this reunion? The Boogeyman. He's still recovering <laughs> from boogie fever. Ow! Ow! The witch doctor didn't give him a ghost of a chance to recover. There's almost nothing that can be done for a boogeyman with boogie fever. He didn't hide behind the trees at night <laughs> or make scary shadows on kids' walls. <laughs> so the boogie fever got into his blood and he couldn't stop dancing. Ow! How is he now? Oh, he's cured. But it took drastic measures. He had to be locked in a room and only listen to waltzes, dinner music, and polkas for three days. Now that is what I call frightening. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. He swore off boogie music completely. He breaks out in a rash if someone even accidentally bumps into him. Oh, hey, hey, listen, it's the Spookalama Anthem. Come on.